live in a remarkable time in history. Uh, the dawning of a new renaissance, the beginning of a new digital golden age, but we have a problem. It doesn't feel that way. It certainly doesn't feel that way for the millions of people who get stuck in rush hour traffic every day, struggling to get to work and back, who feel disengaged from the work environment that they're in. It doesn't feel that way for business leaders who are trying to get innovation pumped into their companies at their conferences and by memos that get sent from the CEO's office and yet they see no results. And we're certainly not seeing it in the global economy, which is uh, stagnating and going backwards at the moment. We have a problem. And I think our problem is simply that we have given up on achieving remarkable things. We have decided that even though this stuff is happening all around us, we don't have these grand visions. We don't have these grand goals. We're waiting for the next Samsung release to come out, one that doesn't explode on impact. Uh, I got an email just the other day from Apple saying, we, we, we're announcing an, an, a new innovation coming out. Uh, our iPhone 7 is just a few weeks old, but we are just wonderfully excited to tell you that we are also going to be releasing it in jet white. <laughs> and I thought, seriously, out of the three people who worked on that innovation team, feel proud of themselves. But that's not innovation. That's not moving the world forward, really. Is that what you're living for next? We have a problem because our staff are not excited or engaged. This is what I hear from the companies that I work with all around the world. Where is the actual innovation? Where is the actual growth? Where is the next thing? And why are my staff not engaged? So the research that our team at Tomorrow Today have done has indicated that if we want to achieve remarkable things, we need to get on a quest. We need to take the future by the scruff of the neck and do something with it. We can't just wait for this new digital wave to take us with it. We have to surf it ourselves. And we've identified three things in the people and the organizations that are actually doing this. And these are three things that anyone can do. You can do it in your company, you can do it in your team, you can just do it in your life. The first is you need to have that grand vision. You need to have a picture of something remarkable and great. In September 2016, Elon Musk, uh, founder of Tesla and SpaceX, stood up on a stage in front of the astronautical industry of the world. And he opened his keynote in his standard monotone, very bad presentation style approach. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that it is time that human beings become a multi-planetary species. Exactly the same response in the room. And he just said, yes. And he got a standing ovation. <laughs> then went on for another hour to lay out SpaceX's plans. Not their dreams, not their ideas, their actual engineering plans. And at the end of it he said, you can take our plans, you can collaborate with us or you can compete with us. We don't care. But we want to build a million person colony on Mars by the end of this century and for it to cost less than $200,000 per person to get there so that it is accessible to people who want to do it. We need to live on multiple planets and we will do it this century in our lifetime. Compete or collaborate, let's just do it. Do you think SpaceX has any problem attracting talent? Do you think SpaceX have staff engagement conferences? <laughs> Do you think they need motivational speakers to come and help them? These guys have a vision, they have something big, they have something bold. You might not be able to go to Mars or even want to, but you can do something big. The second thing that we've seen is that we make the impossible possible. By having that great dream, we are going to have to overcome things which today feel like they are impossible. We have in our lifetimes done impossible things in this planet. We've, we've begun to rid our world of diseases. We've been able to bring democracy to different parts of the world. We've brought medical technologies that have doubled life expectancy in the last century. We know as human beings how to do the impossible. We've just forgotten that it's something we can do. So we need to make the impossible possible. And finally, in doing all of those things, we need to deliver meaningful benefits to everyone. We need to deliver something that changes the world. 
So if your company needs somebody to help them understand the technologies that are shaping the world, if you need to get your staff engaged in something that is bigger and greater than themselves, if you want to unleash the power of creativity and innovation in your team and in your organization, then get me, Graham Coddington, to come and help you see how you can achieve remarkable things. Graham Coddington, ladies and gentlemen. Another round of applause, please. All right. Our final speaker for today, and that means please help him out with huge amounts of energy and warmth to make sure that we end with the same high energy that we began. Spiwe Moyo is a professional motivational speaker based in South Africa a seasoned HR practitioner, organizational development and learning.